In business news, ahead of federal government's planned fuel subsidy removal in June, economic and energy experts have declared that the prevailing situation and indices in the country might not make it uh, near impossible. Might make it near impossible. According to them, aside from the hardship it will bring to Nigerians who already live below the poverty line, the $800 million World Bank facility aimed at cushioning the effect of the planned removal will raise Nigeria's projected debt stock uh, higher. Earlier today on our flagship business program, Business Nigeria, co-founder and chief executive of Pissarat Budget, Mr. Shewo Nigmide, expresses his mind on the plan palliative and suggests ways subsidy removal can be cushioned. View, I think it's just an FX liquidity play. Benja just found an opportunity to have 800 million extra into his external reserves, into a federal government, uh, maybe multilateral or, or commitment, and they were able to grab $800 million from the, from the World Bank. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to give $800 to people on the streets. You're still going to monetize this money to Naira and give it to people. My own play is that this is not the right decision for what we should have borrowed funds for. Um, we can do much more better than this. If you want to do palliative for the poor or the vulnerable, you have to start from three things. One, we have to start from food. Food is the biggest cost driver for the poor in Nigeria. People spend so much on food. How do you make sure that food can be more accessible, can be cheaper? It's much more sensible for us to invest effectively in that. Second, we also need to now look at public transport systems, either interstate, either intrastate, to make sure that for those who might not be able to afford the more expensive uh, you know, private transport system are able to use the public sample system you know, within, a, within an efficient strict framework to be able to reach where they want to be. And third is to build a social contract through a national identity system out of here. We should be able to know who is poor in Nigeria because we also depend on the register of the World Bank and say this is who is poor or the register of the federal government and say this is who is poor. To be honest, I've, I've heard a lot of people will interrogate that register and they will find out that a lot of Nigerians that do not fit into the category of being poor will be on that register because they're able to peddle some level of influence.